Hi everyone, so today we're going to try to find another big number. So how many chess games are there in a universe-sized chess board or chess game? So number five, kind of um, take a look at this question already, but of course they're looking at a regular chess game, which is uh, on a 8x8 eight eight board. And um, you can watch that video, of course. Uh, maybe some of you watched it already. So regular chess game, um, how do they calculate the number of chess game is, you know, they think it's called Shannon's number. So Shannon's number, how do they get it? So they, he thinks there are around 30 legal moves per play and there are total 80 plays per game. So which means the total number of chess game is around 30 to the power of 80, which is around 10 to the 120. So that's how, and that's Shannon's number, and that's how he calculate or estimate the number of chess games in a regular, you know, 8x8 board, regular chess game. But again, we're trying to find a big number, so what about we play a huge uh, chess game, which is the size of the observable universe. So again, um, I actually have a video on uh, how many possible ways to arrange a universe size Rubik's Cube, so you can watch that as well. So this is a similar video. So the universe, of course, the observable universe is around, I mean, has a diameter of around 10 to the 27 meters, which is around 10 to the 62 Planck length. So the Planck length is the smallest possible unit in physics. So you cannot get anything smaller than that. And we're going to use uh, this 10 to the 62 as our number of square in our, in our board. So of course, each... We, of course, we're trying to find a big number, the biggest number. So therefore, each square on the board is one plank length. Again, you cannot go smaller than that. So that means a universe size board would have 10 to the 62 by 10 to the 62 squares or box. So it's a 10 to the 62 by 10 to the 62 board. So how many chess games are there using this board? So again, we're using, uh, you know, same way as the regular chessboard so each player um, has around 10 to the 62 times two pieces because the regular chess game you have eight times two so each player has 16 pieces so basically eight times two but here since we have 10 to the 62 square so the number of pieces just times two you know so um, i mean this is just a rough estimate so don't tell me how many queens are there how many uh knights or whatever pieces so just a rough estimate so this is number number of pieces and how many play i mean uh, i mean how each play how many moves are there so in regular chess game there are around 30 legal moves per play of course in this case in the universe size board there will be much 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 more moves but again just a rough estimate but again we want to exaggerate things a little bit so therefore um that's my estimate you can you know feel free to change your own number so each play i Estimate there will be around 10 to the 62 times 2 times 2. So 10 to the 62 times 4 moves. So around 10 to the 63 moves. Again, I'm try to exaggerate things here. Um, because, you know, each... This is the number of pieces times 2. So each piece, I just guess there are around 2 moves. Actually, I think it's smaller than that. But again, I'm trying to exaggerate things to get a big number. So how many plays per game? That's a much more difficult question because, you know... Uh, original the Shannon's number he estimated that the uh, regular chess game has 80 plays of course it could be more than that or less than that it's just a rough estimate um, but since our board is the size of the universe you know each pawn you know can only move one square of course the queen can move all the way uh, across the board um, but since each pawn would take around 10 to the 62 moves to get to the end of the other side. So my guess, you know, how many plays per game? I just estimate around 10 to the 62 times 10 to the 62. So each piece 
has around this number of moves again just a rough estimate since they're 10 to 62 pieces as well so just this one times this one which is around 10 to the 124 plays per game again feel free to change your own number or you know because i'm not an expert in chess uh chess i mean um so total number of chess games is around therefore you just use the same formula you know the original the regular chess game is 30 to the power of 80 so the legal moves the number of legal moves to the power of number of plays that's how you get the total number of chess games so in this case you plug in the numbers 10 to the 63 to the power of 10 to the 124 which is around 10 to the 10 to the 126 and that's my estimate on how many chess games are there in a universe size chess board and this is as you can see this is bigger than a googleplex and if you have, I mean, I have another video that I mentioned already. The universe size Rubik's Cube has around 10 to the 10 to the 123 number of ways to arrange it. So it's a very similar size number in terms, you know, grand scheme of things. But keep in mind that video, my Rubik's Cube, um, the universe size Rubik's Cube has around 10 to the 61 by 10 to the 61 so if i change it to 10 to the 62 you know this would be slightly bigger so kind of similar this two number uh, i'm not sure if it's a coincidence or you know that's just how big numbers work but again the tricky part is how many plays per game this could vary a lot since i'm not an expert in chess um and also the you know each play i'm not sure if that's accurate but you know since the top of the power has a much bigger effect, you know, in terms of creating a big number. So how many plays per game? That's actually the key factor here. Of course, if you want to get an even bigger number, you can exaggerate things even more. So let's say if their number of total number of plays is 10 to the 200, then you just plug it in again, 10 to the 63 to the power of 10 to the 200, then the result would be around 10 to the 10 to the 202. So still, I mean, around the same area, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you're probably not going to get much bigger than 10 to the 10 to the 500 or something. So around the area of the Google Plex, you're not going to get anywhere near Google Plex Plex. So anyway, is that a big number? It's a pretty big number, but still, I mean, you know, if we are using a real world example, we're not going to touch anything close to Graham's number or even G1. So anyway, this is my video, again, trying to find a big number in, you know, trying to using real-world examples or real-world application. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.